right, so first we're making breakfast. This is gonna be the same thing I've eaten every day for the last year and a half. Three eggs over easy breakfast of just three eggs. I'm gonna put you guys on real quick. This is a hack. So instead of having to use the spatula to flip your eggs, get a little bit of water. So not too much. Put it on like half heat and then throw it out. I'll wait a few minutes. Okay. So today after breakfast, we're gonna be doing Turo, Gem. We're gonna do a little bit of my e-com store. I'm gonna edit some things on my Shopify and then just some editing and emails. It's a pretty chill day work-wise. And as you can see, eggs are pretty much perfect without having to flip them. So where'd this spatula go? Nice, nice. My tour car that I rent out should be back from a trip within the next 10 minutes or so. So whenever it gets back, I'm gonna go make sure there's any damage. They didn't go over their miles and then the car's still good. I do consider myself on Gordon Ramsay level for cooking. So they're pretty much perfect every time. This is my 6.5 that I picked up a few months ago to rent out on Turo after managing my friend Will's car. But it just got back from like a three day trip. So I just wanna make sure there's any damage or new damage that I haven't seen. Oh, it looks pretty good inside. <laughs> it made it a little dirty on the inside. As long as there isn't any damage, it's not a big deal. Overall, Turo's been a pretty good side hustle. I mean, it makes a couple hundred dollars a month. Nothing crazy, but I mean, it's cool. I don't think I'd really recommend it if you're a beginner because it can start off pretty slow. But I mean, if you have money to throw away or money to lose, I think it's fun. But um, now let's get ready to go to the gym. I always go to the gym in the morning because I feel like I have the most energy. I tried going later at night a couple times, but it just does not work at all for me. Um, and a lot of people ask me about pre-workouts or what I take for the gym. It's honestly not much. I used to take so much caffeine with pre workouts like this. It's like 400 milligrams a scoop. But I started having headaches and crashes, so I stopped that. I just started going really bare bones to ingredients themselves. I take citrulline, which just boosts your blood flow, gives you a better pump. And then creatine, that's about it. So let's take this and get in the car. We arrived at our destination, the LA Fitness. I love this gym. Probably my favorite gym I've been to of all time. So we're gonna go in here, hit some chest and shoulders, show you guys what I do, and then we're gonna hop inside. I don't cut that bitch off. If you ain't gon' fuck, you gettin' flipped off. Pay attention to you, that sound like a rip-off. Yes, sir, pretty bitches really got me pissed off. I ain't capping with your addition and don't twist off. Yeah, she got yams, she got yams, but no manners. Steady swiping, steady swiping like a scammer. I had a pretty good workout. Nothing too heavy. Just thought I'd show you guys what I do. Being in the gym is such a big part of my life. I genuinely think it's the best thing ever for you and your mind. It helps out everything. But uh, now I'm gonna go hop in the sauna for like 20 minutes. Best feeling ever. No way, bro. The sauna's closed, bro. So no sauna today, but usually after the gym, I'd go in the sauna for 20 minutes. If you guys didn't know, going in the sauna, I think it's 57 minutes per week. It reduces your chance of having like a stroke or a heart attack by up to over 20%. There's nothing else in the world that does that. So I encourage you, if you can get access to a sauna, try to go in at least three times a week for 20 minutes. You'll never feel better in your life. So I posted a Q&A on my Instagram yesterday so you guys could ask me some questions about my life. First question is, what are your thoughts on the Tate brothers? So I'm gonna keep it a buck. I think they're great. There's a couple scenarios where obviously they're being sarcastic, where I wouldn't agree with their opinions, but I'd say like 90% of the time, I think all their takes are valid and reasonable to an extent. Free the Tates until there's evidence proving them guilty. All right, next question, someone asks, what are your thoughts on NFTs and crypto? So <laughs> don't even get me started. I had a run with NFTs last year with a couple of my friends. In total, I think I put 10 grand into these NFTs. They were like 2,000 a piece. By the time I sold them after like only a month, they were worth $20 a piece. So lost a lot of money. I think I'm done forever with all NFTs and crypto. I'm invested in Ethereum right now, but I think that's way more stable than like an NFT. And then somebody asks, new car soon. So I had, I'll roll the clip. I had issues with my Mustang yesterday where a head gasket blew up. Thankfully, my mechanic's a G. They got it fixed in like a day. So I have the car back, but this is like the second time something major has happened to that car. So I think I, I'm gonna list it and get rid of it. I think I'll just finally go green and buy a Tesla. I've been wanting one for a while. I just haven't been able to uh, validate the purchase. So hopefully there's Tesla coming soon. We'll see what happens. So now I'm doing my first extra work for the day. One of my Shopify stores hasn't been doing as good as I think it should be. So I'm gonna do a free with shipping promo. I'm gonna put you guys on some free sauce here. 
basically you've probably seen it before but it's where you make the product on your store free but then as they check out and go through the steps of shipping you're going to charge them enough to cover the cost of the product and shipping and leave you a little bit of profit it usually only works with cheaper products but last time we did this on one of our stores it went pretty crazy we had like a twenty thousand dollar month so i'm hoping to do something like that again hopefully even more because gotta get that money launch and sent out all the newsletter emails and put it in all of our organic traffic pages and so far it's doing pretty well we made about four hundred dollars in the first hour nothing crazy but it's at the pace where we should be able to do over a thousand dollars a day so now i'm just gonna sit here for the next hour or so respond to all the customer emails and see if there's anything that needs to be changed after that we'll get ready for dinner so we just went to hgb i tried to reheat some steak that i had from yesterday and um it didn't taste good so we went to hgb I spent like $60 on a wagon steak. I think it's gonna be banger, because I am a chef. I do consider myself a chef. So we cut some waggy steak. Let's see. Do that right there. That's crazy. All right, Chef Ethan, let's get it started. So to get a perfect steak, it doesn't take that much seasoning. We're gonna go ahead and get a little bit of a butter sear in the pan. And then once it gets to this point, like a little bit of this here, we go ahead and flip it over. You get all that butter inside the steak. We had to cut them up into smaller pieces because it was not cooking, but part two, let's see what it looks like. Perfect. That's how a wagon steak needs to be cooked. All right, so I just finished making the steak, as you guys could see, but you can never have a good dinner without having dessert. So usually what I have on most weekends or days during the week is a whole can of frosting. You gotta get the ones with sprinkles because if you're trying to bulk up on calories, this is how you're gonna get your calories. It's just simple and easy to eat. So here's what we do. Get your sprinkles. On and then you basically just eat it like ice cream, to be honest. So someone asks, what are my main sources of income? So in a list from biggest to least, my biggest source of income is Shopify for sure. From I have like four or five drop shipping stores that I'm running right now. Then it's gonna be YouTube from sponsors, ad revenue, affiliates, all that. Then I would say probably Turo. It makes a couple hundred dollars a month, but nothing crazy. And then I just have some extra affiliate money, other things from TikTok, Instagram coming in every month but it's mainly just YouTube and Shopify. For the next two hours of the day, I was just going through my emails, responding to any potential brand deals and responding to anything that needed to get responded to. And then after that, I just did a little bit of editing. So I'm pretty much gonna end this video here. The main thing to get at was there's just so many teenage entrepreneurs living crazy lifestyles and driving supercars online. So I just felt like showing you guys what a real raw day in the life looks like for someone who does entrepreneurship and business as a full-time job. This is what an average day in the life looks like for me. Sometimes there's a lot more work and sometimes I just take the day off. I did about four or five hours of work today and then went to the gym, made some food and that's about it. Make sure you guys comment down below if you want to see more videos like this in the future, but I hope you enjoyed. See ya.